this was a study that was done in which students were given lectures on art history. And they were given three 30-minute lectures on art history. And then they were uh, asked to come back 30 days later and see how much of that material they could remember. But at the end of each of those lectures, they did something a little bit different. In the first case, they had students listen to the art history lectures and then just sort of walk out. And that's what you see uh, as the first example, no activity. When those students came back 30 days later, they were able to, when they took a test on the material, they were able to score about 20% on that test. The second group of students, they got a focused study guide afterwards, and they were able to study some of the key terms from the lecture, and they did that quickly right at the end of the lecture. And you see that this does provide a learning boost for the students. So right at the end of the lecture, if they had this focused study guide, they were able to score around a 36% on that exam. They were able to score just about the same as if they took a brief multiple choice quiz at the end of each of those three lectures. And when they did that, you see as well that they were able to score about a 36%. Now, but the interesting thing about this study for me is the one that produced the best learning was when students took a brief short answer quiz at the end of each of those lectures. And you see that those students were able to score about a 47% on that quiz. So the students, if you think about this now from sort of a regular classroom experience, right? Students are in class, they're listening to a lecture. They go out and they may have to come back 30 days or four or five weeks later for, to take a midterm exam or a final exam. And what we see from this study is the power of having students do a quick little bit of retrieval practice just at the end of class. Most of us, you know, we, we have class and then sort of we finish and students walk out and then we expect them to go study on their own. But what we see here is that when the instructor gave them the opportunity to do a quick retrieval activity, to take a short answer quiz on the things that they had just learned, look at the significant learning boost that gives them. That to me is like the essence of a small teaching activity. Now, if we go to the next slide, we'll see, for example, that this is um, you know, something that we see commonly in faculty members do in higher education, which is well, the minute paper. The minute paper has been hanging around higher education for a long time. The minute paper is a great example of a quick activity that can be done at the end of a class or even a digital learning session in which students are asked, what was the most important thing you learned today? And what's one question you still have about the course material? Now what I really like about this is we saw in that art history study that a multiple choice quiz, which was just a quick sort of retrieval activity from what they learned, that that did help. But what helped the most was when they had to do a little bit of putting it into their own words and doing a little bit of thinking about it. And that's what we see here in the minute paper when students are asked, what was the most important thing you learned? Well, you have to think about that. You have to make a judgment about that. I learned a lot of things in this session. What was the most important? And so students are having to think about that, write that down on an index card. This is an index card that a colleague of mine in math showed me when she does it in her uh, math courses. And uh, if you flip this index card over, you would see that uh, answer that other question. What's one question that you still have about today's material? This is a very simple learning activity. Takes two or three minutes at most. Can be done at the end of a class session and can also be um, done in a digital environment. After students have read something, Right? or encountered something or listened to a video lecture, they can answer that very simple question. What was the most important thing that you took away from this session? Quick retrieval activity helps support the main idea, gives them a little thinking.